Hey guys, what's going on? Okay, uh, got a video, just gonna recap the uh, fights over the past weekend, the uh, UFC 295, uh, two main events, uh, co-main co event and the main event, um, had Tom Aspinall versus uh, Sergey Pavlovich in the um, undercard, and um, mute that real quick. All right, so here's the highlights playing in the background here. So yeah, this was a very quick one, the uh, Pavlovich-Aspinall uh, fight. Um, yeah, they were <laughs> very friendly with each other before the fight, as you see there. That's just crazy. But anyway, um, yeah, Aspinall did get rocked, actually. I did pick him to win. I thought it would be, you know, a long fight, really. Um, I think I picked him to win by, like, a fourth-round stoppage. But, yeah, right there you see he got rocked a little bit. And um, he's just going to come back and... Catch Pavlovich with a big one right there on the temple and then got him again and then that's it right there. That was just insane. It was like, I don't know if it was maybe like two minutes it seems like. It was not long at all. Very first round. It's Michael Bisbean going crazy. Oh, that's his England brother. Yeah, that's his England buddy. Um, but yeah, just right on the temple. My God, he just, he looks out already. But uh so, yeah, huge win for Aspinall, becomes the interim heavyweight champion. Of course, John Jones is the actual heavyweight champ. Don't know that Aspinall really has a chance against John Jones, but uh, anyway. Yeah, so let's get on to the next one. There's uh, Alex Perea coming out. I did expect um, Prochaska to win this fight, actually, if you watch my... Uh, prediction video then yep you'll know that i picked prochaska to win um perea has got some insane power guys that is for sure it's unbelievable um he uh he dominated really from the start i mean prochaska did he it seemed like he it seems like he rocked him once or twice he did come back a little bit but from the very beginning um you know Perea was destroying the front leg of uh, Prochaska, that left leg. He was just kicking it. And, I mean, with the first strike, he landed on the leg. With the first kick, he landed. You could tell Prochaska was already bothered by it very, very much. He was bothered by the very first leg strike that landed. It was just unbelievable. He was already, I mean, he wasn't limping, but he was careful about putting his foot down, putting weight on it, and, I mean, in that first round, it was like, you know, really like three to five really good leg kicks, and they did their damage. I mean, in the very first round, you could tell a noticeable difference. They'll probably show some of them here. There's a leg kick from Prochaska. Yeah, oh, I thought that was going to be one. But, um, yeah, Prochaska, I mean, he went there. There's one right there. And, oh, look, at yeah, that's right. He put him down. I think that was like the third one he landed on him, and he put him down with it. Um, but yeah, there's another one. You can tell he's kind of wobbling there, kind of stumbling, and he switched to southpaw to avoid that one being the lead leg, so it wouldn't get hit as much, <laughs> it wouldn't get kicked as much. But um, it seems like Prochaska rocked him in the second round at some point. We'll see. Hopefully they'll show it on the highlights. But yeah, um, Perea's got some crazy power. I mean it. The two shots he ended it with didn't really look to be that. He didn't really seem to get his body weight into them that much. I mean, but they did their damage, and then he followed up with some elbow strikes to the side of the head. So, all right, so there you see Petroska did get him down in the first round. Um, I think I think uh, Perea did get the first round, even though Petroska landed some good uh, ground-and-pound blows there with the elbows. But, um, uh, Perea with the leg strikes, I think, got it. And, and he landed some good punches, too. They didn't really show those in the highlights here. But I remember he had some good moments in the first round, besides the kicking of Prochaska's leg. But, uh, yeah, I think I think it was a – I think this is where it ends, guys. So, I think he – so, yeah, uh, Prochaska, I believe he had him rocked a little bit, and he had him retreating. Yeah, there you go right there. So, see? He's going after him there. He was probably winning this second round, you know, pretty pretty fairly. Um, and I think he's going to land something here that backs Perea up. And then as Prochaska rushes in, oh, good body, uh, good knee to the body right there. But Perea just about, I mean, you know, 
Yeah, I shouldn't have said Perea dominated the fight. He definitely didn't dominate. I don't know why I said that. I apologize. But, um, you know, so he got a leg strike of his own. But you see, oh, well, there it is. So, guys, you saw as soon as Perea landed his leg kick, though, um, Prochowski immediately switched to southpaw right after that. So, you know, he was very bothered by that uh, left leg of his that was getting kicked throughout the night. Yeah, watch this. So... Right there, and then he lands one, and Perea lands one right back immediately. He just pulls it back. So, and that's where it ended, guys. This is it. Um, so he kind of landed one, but he just caught him. Kind of just, I mean, he just kind of caught him with the right, and then that left is what really put him down. And then he followed up with the elbows. Some people were saying it was a little early. I could, I could agree with that. I mean. I would have liked to see it go on a little bit longer just to see. Maybe Prochaska could have gotten out of it. Here we go, guys. So, yeah, see, he was landing right there, and he just brought him right in. Wow. Just insane. But um, there it is again, and this video is completely in the way of that. There's Trump right there, I believe it was. But, uh, <laughs> yep, yeah, so there you go. New light heavyweight champion, uh, Alex Perea. So, Two weight classes this guy is now a champion in. Middleweight when he defeated uh, Adesanya. And, of course, Adesanya did get his revenge. He got that title back. Adesanya no longer the champ. Sean Strickland is at middleweight now. But, yeah, Perea moves up. He's got 11 fights, a champ in two different weight divisions already in the UFC. That's insane. This guy's got some scary power. Because, as you see, he really didn't get a lot into those punches. Of course, Petroska was rushing in, so he ran into it on his own, which, you know, helps with the force as well. But, um, yeah, so <clears throat> Perea, very good fighter. Um, you know, he's fought the top guys, fought some of the top people so far um, in a very short career, um, had a very good kickboxing record, and should be fighting Jamal Hill next, hopefully. So Jamal Hill was forced to uh, relinquish the light heavyweight championship, of course, because he – had an injury, unfortunately, but he was in the crowd there. So um, hopefully we might get a rematch, or not a rematch, a uh, third fight, rubber match between um, Adesanya and uh, Perea eventually. That would be nice. Just once and for all, settle it. And Adesanya could maybe move up, become a two-weight division champ as well. See if he can do that. I don't know. But anyway, Perea's a tough guy to beat, guys. I thought for sure Prochaska would win. I thought he would, you know, with his experience and everything, he could get him out of there eventually. He was, Petroska's a tough guy, and he just, he, he he ended it. He got him. So, like I say, I think it could have gone on a little longer. Maybe he would have gotten put out more definitively, and that would have been fine. And, you know, or he could have come back, and we could have seen a longer fight. I'm not sure. But Prochaska didn't seem to really put up a fight about it he said that he was kind of out so he didn't disagree he had no problem with the ref stoppage and I mean I don't really either but you know we always want to see a definitive stoppage of course but you know the ref's doing what he thought was the right call doesn't want a guy to get unnecessary damage of course so anyway guys um, I'll be doing a, a video prediction of the Shakur Stevenson fight coming up against uh, D uh, Edwin Santos uh, that's coming up this Thursday, so make sure you check back for that. I'll be dropping that uh, probably tomorrow or maybe tonight, uh, probably Tuesday that'll drop. But uh, anyway, give you a few days to check that before the fight comes around on this Thursday, November 16th. But anyway, guys, so that's the recap of the two uh, main fights from UFC 295. So got a new interim heavyweight champion and a new light heavyweight champion so congrats to both of those guys uh, they did their thing so anyway guys that's it uh, if you want more fight videos let me know please drop it in the comments and just uh, hit that like button uh, hit that like button share comment subscribe come join the family god's mafia i'm out no!